ماشي بس كمل اسحب اخي ساكت بتجي اها وات ا تري اي اتس نوينج اولد سنو نيو سنو كو Oh, let's get some of this. Puske here. Good evening. Okay. I have a lot to show you, so I'm going to be quick. I normally talk a lot. I'm trying. I'm going to try not to rant. The printer's good. The bike is good. It's snowing. Um, this is what we're practice printing out today. I needed a letter opener. And I've been using, uh, I think it's aluminum one, and it bent today. So I went ahead and printed a new one. It's a 3D printed knife. It shouldn't be dangerous. It should just be enough to open a letter. So, I have videos of it printing. It took about f an hour, a little, an hour and twelve minutes, to print from beginning to end, and it looks pretty good. I normally don't make things that have no purpose, like uh, like models or anything like that, unless it's for testing or calibrating the machine. I'm normally not gonna waste PLA on it. I usually try to build or make something functional. That way, we're not throwing stuff. We're not wasting PLA. There's a lot of cool ideas that could be done. It seems like a waste to, to print out a cool transformer head or something like that. Okay. Everything's finished and complete. This is my new letter opener. It's really small. Like like the length of my finger. A little longer. So it's really tiny. And it's, it's cute. But it's not as sturdy as I'd hope it'd be. It might have been better if I just printed it out as one part, one solid thing. But I don't want to waste it. So what I'm going to do is, is <laughs> I'm basically going to take a lighter to it and melt it all together. But it's not particularly sharp. It's enough to get the job done. And it's, I'm happy. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm going to have to melt it and make it into one piece, one solid piece. But it should get the job done of what I need it for. I might even be able to use it to peel off uh, PLA parts off the off the plate. So I'm happy with that. Today I won't be able to go for a bike ride. Um, the weather's gotten pretty bad, and it was raining all day up until the point where it started snowing in the evening. So that the roads are a little more a little slicker than usual. So to avoid. And I don't want to risk not having any video for you this weekend, so I'm gonna take it easy tonight. I finished this little part. It literally it's took not about to be anything other than the letter opener. And uh, trying to avoid getting sick as well. This cold weather, this sudden change of weather. I'm trying to avoid getting sick. Now, as you saw in the video, I got one of these. Now, these are onigiris, as as a uh, a rice ball basically with seaweed wrapping around it reliable and delicious even though they're wrapped and they're they're, they're on a like pre-packaged they're not homemade they stay really soft they, they're made daily and they you saw that the shelf was almost empty that gets restocked every morning they normally don't keep things over for a long time so these are really good and reliable. You can carry it anywhere. It's meant to be handy and uh, easy to bring with you wherever you go. So when people go to picnics or they go to on trips or they take the Shinkansen, which is a bullet train for a long trip, they usually bring a couple of these. If you ever find yourself in trouble from all the ones I've tasted, I've lived off these. These are so delicious. This one's from Family Mart. And it's... Uh, Tuna and mayonnaise, basically, and rice and seaweed. Uh, the reason I recommend this is because almost all my friends and everyone too. enjoy these little rice balls. And you can tell it's tuna. You may not be able to read everything on the package, but you'll be able to tell right here, uh, right there, that it looks like uh, in a crude way, two eyes and a smile. Like if you look at it from this angle, you see how it kind of looks, it resembles a, a two eyes and a, a huge grin. And that's how you know, there's only one that has that 
mark on it and that's how you know it's tuna mayonnaise so if you can't read them this is the most this is look for look for that mark and they they have so many flavors there's a incredible amount of flavors there's probably more flavors of onigiri than the only thing that might have more variety are soft drinks but uh, there's a trick to opening these and I don't know if you noticed they're numbered but when I first got these I missed I didn't notice the numbers but as of right now how it's even though it's wrapped and put together the seaweed isn't touching the rice so that the seaweed doesn't get soggy so it stays crisp so what you have to do is you have to pull on each tab and it's gonna split the bag in half it's gonna split the package it's gonna split the package in half and it's still the seaweed isn't touching the rice yet they're, they're still separate but once you pull the package once you split it in half you can pull the wrapper out and then from then on it takes the plastic that was separating the two out and it lets it lets the rice and the, the seaweed come together and then you do the same to the other side then you finish folding up the top one and there you go done perfect now seaweed is really brittle so I can't think of many ways to do that more effectively seaweed is lightly tasty, uh, salty it's good so with, imagine um, imagine salt and pepper and that's kind of how the, the, that's the type of topping that's what this has as, as a spice with a little saltiness to it so don't think it's a big healthy thing but it is really good for you and uh, on the inside and there's like a all the way around this rice and then right in the middle there's gonna be tuna and mayonnaise so the first bite you don't always get some tuna and mayonnaise See? I got nothing but rice it's usually around in the middle but it's still incredibly good let me open it up and that's what it looks like on the inside Mm. they're so good and they're available anywhere they sell food basically so if you find yourself in a pickle and you they're need something they're about eat. 250 calories and uh, two or three of these will keep you pretty full until you you get something better but they're really good I enjoyed it. I've I've gone on business trips and survived solely off. Just a little food. piece of advice: if you go somewhere and you won't have food access to to, you're not sure if there's going to be restaurants. They're really cheap. That you saw in the video that they're 110 yen, and they're great snacks. There's nothing that, that you can't go wrong with. I'm going to wrap it up there, and uh, at the end of the video, you'll be able to see the this little guy printing. I sped it up, but uh, you'll be able to see how it goes from beginning to end, and. Uh, tomorrow's Friday night if it's manageable I'd like to go for a ride if not we'll wait until Saturday morning either way there's gonna be some video taken I'll probably prepare a camera mount tonight and print it out tomorrow and uh, yeah it's been a good day I hope everyone has a great day if you're out in Tokyo please stay safe the snow can be hazardous and have a good night thank you what's got some of this